Buckle up for an aviation show like no other. The skies are about to undergo a revolution, and you're invited to be a part of it. Prepare to embark on an exciting journey through the historic Air Force One's renovation. Fasten your seatbelts as we take off into a world where history and innovation coexist. Strap in and be ready to soar to new heights because the future of aviation is about to rewrite the skies. With the new Air Force One, you can step into the heart of power and sophistication, a monument to modernity and greatness. This renovated conference area aboard the presidential plane, which costs a whopping $5 billion, symbolizes the peak of creativity and strategic design. After winning the contract two years ago, Boeing set out on a mission to improve the presidential flying experience. As President Trump stated on ABC's Good Morning America, the decision to modernize was motivated by the inefficiencies of the aging model, rising operational expenses, and the necessity for a cutting-edge overhaul. The end results? A modern, streamlined interior that redefines elegance and functionality. The exorbitant price tag not only covers a total overhaul, but also assures that the new Air Force, the interior, has been completely transformed, with a revolutionary renovation beginning with none other than the presidential office, an aerial oval office. Boeing chose a modular office setup as a stroke of genius transforming the mid-air workspace into an efficiency hub. Consider how seamless repairs can be completed with unparalleled ease and speed, ensuring that the presidential agenda is not disrupted at any altitude. Say goodbye to classic wooden and brown leather interiors in favor of a more modern style that includes sleek white leather and immersive RGB lighting. Aside from the cosmetic changes, the office is now outfitted with cutting-edge technology and high-tech gadgets, resulting in a dynamic space where crucial decisions are not only taken, but also backed by the cutting edge. Recognizing the presidential aircraft's dual purpose of entertaining and providing comfort during critical meetings, the cramped galleys are poised to undergo a transformational expansion. Consider a development toward a more expansive layout evocative of high-end restaurant-style kitchens. This isn't merely a design improvement. It's a strategy improvement aimed at facilitating seamless service. The professional crew can now serve over 2,000 meals each hour, all prepared to order and proudly derived from the different resources of the United States. The future of in-flight healthcare as the new Air Force One's medical bay undergoes amazing renovation. The antiquated tables that should have been replaced three decades ago have been replaced, making way for a cutting-edge medical facility that is in line with the most recent breakthroughs in healthcare technology. The alteration is not only cosmetic, it goes right to the heart of the ship's medicinal capabilities. The medical bay will be outfitted with cutting-edge medical technology, guaranteeing that the health and well-being of passengers including powerful heads of state, is emphasized with cutting-edge care. The medical bay is even being furnished for emergency surgical procedures, demonstrating preparation at its finest. As the curtains draw on the new Air Force One's private sanctum, the presidential bedroom reveals a metamorphosis worthy of a leader. Out with single fold-out beds and in with the regal comfort of a queen-size bed, providing an oasis of repose among the clouds. Consider an opulent scene, a large sitting room where decisions can be made, and a large flat-screen TV to bring a touch of modernity to this aerial refuge. It's a change that echoes former President Donald Trump's preferences, who championed the upgrading. Despite these changes, the presidential bedroom has a nostalgic feel because of the enduring star pattern on the aircraft's carpet, a symbolic nod to tradition and continuity. This aerial juggernaut is outfitted with a tremendous array of security systems, allowing it to endure the unthinkable. Every detail is methodically planned for the highest level of protection, from the capacity to withstand a nuclear blast on the ground to keep unbroken connections with the world below. The bulletproof glass attests to the aircraft's unwavering commitment to safety, while defense systems against surface-to-air missiles enhance its impregnability. But the intrigue doesn't stop there. Get ready for an extra layer of secrecy thanks to some new top-secret technology. The new Air Force One is more than simply a flying aircraft. It's a guardian of the highest order, where security is more than just a feature, but an unwavering dedication to protecting the skies and the leaders within. While the cinematic attraction of escape pods may remain a fantasy for Air Force One fans, the reality of the VC-25B necessitates a different story. The Hollywood-inspired pods are absent from this specialist 747, which is significantly more demanding than its commercial counterparts. Instead, it takes a a path of empowerment, necessitating improved generators to meet its increased demands. Every ounce of power on board will be generated by the engine-spinning turbines, 
ensuring a self-sufficient and powerful flight across the air. The $22 million engines are due to receive a spectacular upgrade, allowing them to support a top-secret arsenal of communications technology, avionics, defense systems, and more. Beyond the domain of luxury aviation travel, Air Force One is charting a road towards supersonic innovation. According to reports, a cutting-edge high-speed version is in the works, prepared to transform presidential air travel. Consider Air Force One not merely as a symbol of authority, but also as a supersonic marvel capable of flying at a mind-boggling five times the speed of sound. A California-based startup armed with ambition and invention claims to be on the verge of building a low-boom supersonic Mach 1.8 plane capable of carrying 70 passengers. This daring endeavor has received a contract from the United States Air Force, ushering in a new era of aerial dominance. It's not just about luxury, it's about pushing the boundaries of what's possible in fashion. Hermes Corporation, based in Atlanta, is poised to reshape the fundamental concept of air travel. Hermes is on a mission to build a pioneering 20-seater aircraft. Thanks to a strategic investment from the U.S. Air Force's Presidential and Executive Airlift Directorate. What is the goal? It is nothing short of revolutionary, promising to transport passengers from New York to London in under 90 minutes. Consider the world shrinking in front of your eyes as this aerospace marvel pushes the limits of speed and comfort. It's a tribute to the never-ending pursuit of advancement, with Atlanta's Hermes Corporation ready to change the rules of air travel and usher in a new era of extraordinary connectedness. The CEOs of two modest but ambitious enterprises, one in California and one in Atlanta, are conducting a symphony of breakthroughs. When asked about the difficulties in creating their lightning-fast aircraft, both leaders acknowledged the difficulties but expressed a firm understanding of the trip ahead. Surprisingly, these supersonic undertakings are not their major emphasis. Rather, they are enthusiastic side projects driven by an unwavering devotion to pushing the limits of aviation. The teams are working diligently with the goal of unveiling the first models by the mid-2030s. It's a journey into the future, not just the skies, a tribute to the audacity of ambitions and the quest for greatness in the realm of high-speed travel. As the aviation sector advances, these tiny businesses will leave an indelible impression, writing a new chapter in flying history. The mid-2030s may seem far away, but for these visionaries, it's just a stepping stone to the next era of airborne possibilities. The aircraft's pulse quickens with an array of high-tech security systems, a strong shield ensuring the president's protection. Interestingly, the demand for a redesign was made back in 2009 when the administration realized the need for a refresh. The search for a replacement brought two powerful rivals to the table, the Boeing 747-8 and the Airbus A380. The need for the future Air Force One was clear. The chosen business had to build the jets in the United States. When the call rang out throughout the aerospace industry, Airbus elected to decline, citing the financial impracticality of producing only three planes in the United States. This strategic choice left Boeing as the single contender positioned to exploit an opportunity. The legendary American firm jumped at the chance to build another Air Force One for the president. From their point of view, building this aerial marvel in America presented no difficulties. The story unfolds as Boeing strides into the spotlight, preparing to write a new chapter in the legacy of presidential aviation, where every detail exemplifies American craftsmanship and commitment. The government established a precise time frame for the completion of this massive project, completion by 2017, followed by two further planes in 2019 and 2021. Following a rigorous study of Boeing's jet plane types, the 747-8 was selected as the legendary Air Force One's successor. The 747-8, which resembled its predecessor but had a slightly longer frame, promised a continuance of presidential aviation excellence. The wheels of progress were set in motion on May 10, 2016, when the United States Air Force approved the initial designs for the new Air Force One via an online amendment. On July 15, 2016, the collaboration expanded further with a second contract worth $170 million. Defense One announced a historic decision in August of the following year, preferring to cut the expense of the replacement program by procuring two pre-built Boeing 747-8s. Following the bankruptcy of a Russian airline, 
These aircraft were unexpectedly diverted to the Southern California Logistics Airport in the Mojave Desert. The agreement reached its apex in early 2018 when the White House confirmed a $3.9 billion agreement with Boeing to convert these two idle 747-8s into the next generation of Air Force One. This makeover isn't just cosmetic. It entails completely scrapping the interiors and equipment and replacing them with cutting-edge components that fulfill the stringent presidential security standards. Boeing summarized the event in a tweet, underscoring their commitment to developing the next generation of Air Force One, a flying White House that delivers not just prestige, but great value to American taxpayers. President Trump used his deal-making skills in the high-stakes realm of presidential talks to obtain huge savings for the American people. While the alleged $1.4 billion cut in the deal has yet to be confirmed, the result is a new era for Air Force One. The next aircraft, which will replace the present VC-25A, will proudly bear the VC-25B designation, ushering in a new era of innovation and prestige. The contract calls for the two new planes to be delivered in 2024, with the retiring Air Force Ones going on display in museums, giving enthusiasts a look inside their lavish interiors and modern avionics. During a chat with George Stephanopoulos, President Trump revealed that the new Air Force One was already in the works, underlining that, while he would not be its passenger, he is glad to contribute to the legacy of future presidents. Former President Donald Trump envisioned a spectacular change for Air Force One, breaking with convention. The bigger and larger 747-8 is scheduled to wear the nation's red, white, and blue, as revealed in a preview drawing, instead of the original white and ultramarine. The end of the livery scheme, launched during the Kennedy administration, with even Nancy Reagan embracing its iconic style, is signaled by this stylistic change. While Trump hoped that these modifications would save $1.4 billion from the aircraft budget, not everyone agreed. Congressman Joe Courtney raised reservations, assuring that the changes would not jeopardize delivery schedules or the weight of Air Force One. Furthermore, there have been complaints about the plane's resemblance to Trump's private airplane. Beyond the cosmetic changes, the new Air Force One has significant enhancements, including a greater size, a wider wingspan, and GE NX2B engines designed to reduce CO2 emissions. The agreed-upon price of $3.9 billion for two planes, about $2 billion each, is being questioned, with some media sites forecasting a large $5 billion charge for American taxpayers. Prepare to be a part of history as it unfolds. As we excitedly await the unveiling of the redesigned Air Force One, we want you to be a part of this historic event. Subscribe, like, and leave your comments below because in the world of aviation, every detail matters. Your opinion is important as we embark on this exciting transformational adventure. Let us take off together into the future of aviation, where every subscriber, like, and remark propels us higher into the skies of invention.